like okay. sci-fi and fantasy. Yeah, and a bunch of other I things. am. I am loving the genre for this. Originally, I was like, eh, post-apocalyptic <laughs> Earth, you know, set in kind of the. But linked with an interdimensional or interplanetary. Yeah, I will. Labyrinth I will... of of ancient and mystical origins. I will take this. I was hoping that there would be more immediate sci-fi or fantasy stuff, but we're getting there. I mean, I'm wearing a magical like bark mask that slowly heals me. That's pretty good. I'm hoping we can find even more as we go along. But like, I don't know. It works. Yeah, when we find the full set of that, I might be inclined to grab it. Yeah. Because healing a third of an HP per second isn't that much, but it like right now you are slightly hurt and that would have gone away. Yeah, you're right. Now what's this? Look at this cord. Uh, looks like radiation maybe? It's exposed. Like worst comes to worst shell, you could just put the, the wood mask on right now. I could, I haven't upgraded it though. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I should upgrade it though. Let's see. Your wife is more of a tabletop gamer. Most probably war, more war machine. It, oh god, what the hell? Something nasty. Floaty bark skulls. Oh. They're terrifying. In that case, if your well, wife is a tabletop, tabletop RPG, why don't you try something like Divinity Original Sin? Yeah, I was going to say exactly that. Divinity Original Sin, uh, Warhammer Mechanicus. Uh, ah, whoa, that was weird. Yeah, I know that sh shooters aren't everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, shooters aren't everybody's cup of tea. Uh, but Divinity Original Sin is, like, perfect. Both both of them are amazing games. I'd say 2 is the better one. Um, but, like... Because that would be turn-based strategy you're working with. You're maneuvering around the board in a very similar fashion. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I'd recommend stuff like Armello, maybe? Uh, but that's not cooperative. That's adversarial. Oh no, I died. Oh, did you fall? I fell down a gap. I didn't even know that was possible. Okay. Uh. You're gonna have to revive me at the crystal. Because I fell down that. The hell? What Something is this? Oh, it's the bees! Oh, it's the bee people. Don't remember. Shoot it in the body, not the head. Neat. Got it. That was legitimately terrifying. Mainly because of the screaming. So you fell down this hole. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna come get you at the crystal. Sorry. It's fine. Let's see, so why do you not shoot the bee people in the head? Because it pisses them off. We were reading the journal of uh, Andrew Ford. He specifically said, don't shoot them in the head because then the beehive will activate Let's and see. all the bees will come after you. <laughs> we'll incur the wrath of the bees. Cover me! I really like sharpshooting in this game. Watch it. <laughs> yep. There's suicide skulls, by the way, that'll come after you, too. Okay. Watch, if if you hear screaming, just roll away, and you should be fine. This is a convenient spot for you. That's one of the screamers. Yep, I heard it. Luckily, they're very visible. Those skulls are huge. Makes it easy for headshots. R. Gonna... Is the bee coming out somewhere? Uh, I... no. Remember, mildly procedurally generated, if you die, it'll often remix what enemies you have to deal with, just slightly. I'm hearing something up there. Yeah, I'll be with you in a second. Don't go too far. Because there's, uh, let's see. Something's close. There's a couple of different routes. Okay, that's where you were. I just wanted to make sure, because they like to hide, uh, trait tomes you in hear? sneaky locations. Yeah, that's that's a bee man, by the way. They like to get up close and personal, so just let me kiss it off. 
Oh, over here. Top off. I got a cleansing jewel. Nice. Oh, oh god, what is that? Sounds like. Ah! Oops, no, not what ah! I intended to do. Ow! Oh, it hit us oh. through the environment. Okay, correction. B man's your business. Okay. I'll try. There's a cadre of skulls out here. Okay. Oh don't, no, I'm down. Don't I'm fight sorry. it in melee. Reloading! Ah. Thanks. What did you Oh boy. Is there a demon dog out there? There is something. And okay, I'm gonna go piss him off. Oh, radiation. Uh. The hell are you? Oh god! What the hell is this? It's terrifying. And dead. It had a ra it was a giant ass creature. What? That's that's the only way I can describe it. It had a m massive badonk. Oh, there's some skulls hanging out beneath us. Watch my back! Like beneath the world. Reloading. I think they're just around the corner. Let's see. Do you have the hunter's mark ability, by the way? Uh, not yet. Okay. Let's see. But. Do we have to redo my equipment for that? Uh, yeah, so let's do that later. I just really like having the Hunter's Mark, and between the two of us, we could pretty much keep it up, up constantly if we're fighting. Eyes on! Might not be over. I'm hearing some voices, but... It's another... I think it's another bee, bee man. They sound so close, but... Yeah, it's a bee man. Oh, what is... Oh, it's that thing was sliming me from behind. Didn't even see it. Uh, hold still. Okay, thanks. Yeah, if you're injured and, uh, you can always ask. It's like, hey, do you got the healing thing? Because I actually usually have it charged. I don't use it that often. Ah, great. More bad news. Stay down! Mark it. Oh. Ow. Get it. Cover me. Got it in the face that time. Watch out for that one. Got that one in the face too. Got that one. Looks like there's a whole slew up ahead. Yep, I see them. Pushing the shotgun. That's going to piss the bee man off. Oh, a skull. Cool. Cover me. You can piss the bee man off. And it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, those two skulls are still following us. They are just under the world for some reason. Oh, I thought that you were an enemy for a moment because uh, you had those glowing red eyes. Yeah, sorry, I did that earlier in the uh, in the hazard dungeon. Like, I went up a staircase, and you were right there looking down at me, and I'm just like, oh shit, and immediately just like... Reloading! I think double tapped you or something, which probably did not contribute to your survival on that run. Seems like some sort of altar up here. Huh. Now, what I want as a power is loot vision. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got two of those skulls just underneath the world still. It's really fun. You can hear them screaming at us. Oh, well, who's that? Another shaman? It looks like a bee shaman. Yeah. Did you get the scrap bin over here? No, you know what? We never opened this. No, because I was busy shooting. Okay. Because I could see where all the enemies were. There's a weird bee shaman through there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> On the plus side, they are very weak to shotguns. God, this oh, shotgun yeah. in this game is satisfying. Most of the time. Whoa. Whoa, okay. he was... 
he was on a mission. Good shot. I did that point blank without even looking. But well, I did get some radiation by the looks of it. By the way, uh, you don't have to worry about... Oh yeah, I guess you do have to worry about radiation. I hear it. Yep, I do too. Oh. You know what? Hunter's Mark, what do we got? Uh, there's a suicider on the room below you. I hear it. Okay. Got it. Oh, nice. I got some scrap upstairs from a chest. It's okay. okay. Looks like Ooh, that's there's it. there's a blue item in this room. Hey, that's a weapon. Or an item. A tome of knowledge. Ah, eh, I'll take it. I'm almost maxed out on uh, elder knowledge. I don't know what I'm uh, going to go into next. So you've been really putting everything in there. Here's another chest. I have been. I'm not entirely sure if it's worth it. I Supposedly there's some means of respecking. I might do that. My hope was that I could kind of just uh, respec at some point once we've unlocked a yeah, bunch of cool perks. Yeah, there are a perks. bunch of critters right beneath us. Yeah, but they're... Unless we went back to that death bit that killed you, I don't think they're coming back. Like, they fell through the world somehow. <laughs> so, I'd say we just go through here. We might Another have a boss. Players attempting to we travel. Might not. Is that you? Yeah. yeah. I really like these. I know a lot of people are like, I don't like Soylent, it's all chalky, but like, it's pretty good. Yeah, the recycle day, we got them for free. Yeah, but I'm probably going to want to throw money at it and buy a bunch. Because as far as like, hey, I'm streaming, I want something that's filling enough so I'm not like, too hungry to continue. It ranks pretty well. Let's see, I want to check something with the heavy, heavy oh, yeah, water. Yeah, my hunger is gone now. Uh, let's see. So this might be a situation where we want a heavy water. Uh, maybe not, actually. Quiet down. Well, let me... Can I respect some stuff? Uh, <laughs> we got an NPC. I'll talk to him while you respect. If you do. Ooh. So just stand next to him and then manage your inventory while Quiet I talk. Quiet now. <sighs> Take a seat. You shouldn't be here. The pack kills on sight. No exceptions. Then again, it is good to see a new face. Or any face. <laughs> sit, sit, but be quiet. If the pack decides your meat, I have to side with them. Oh, I hear dogs. Mm -hmm. I Isn't do hear the pack them. dangerous to you too? They are my family, and they like my helpful slop. Hmm? <laughs> I could sell you some, if you like. Let's see. Well, notice how all of them are sleeping, but look at that giant dog behind him. Yeah, so that's probably going to be the boss. Well, Take let's see what look. he has to sell first. So he sells Houndmaster's Jerky. Increases crit damage by 15%. You lasts for a while. Alright. Are you talking to him now? Oh, yeah, I like to talk about you in the pack. Is that all right? Sure. All right, but keep your voice down. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. That one dog is enormous. Ah, yes. The Alpha. Don't worry, she doesn't bite. Unless she knows you're there. Why doesn't the pack attack you? Why would they? We're family. Hmm. But you said that they attack on sight, no exceptions. <laughs> I am not an exception. I am family. <laughs> no, seriously, what's your secret? Oh, stop! Don't ask me again. All right. Sorry, let's talk about yes. something else. <sighs> That's better. How did you end up here? Uh, that's a long story. I am an outcast. Buri spit on me, and Veer 
Wanna kill me? The pack is my true family. Hmm. Why did the Veer want to kill you? Ah, uh, you want the story. All right. Do you know about the Gleaning? Hmm. Should I say I don't know what that is, or some kind of harvest? I don't know what that is. Every seven years, the Undying King sends his Veer to the villages. They line us up, like livestock. The Veer choose who stays and who goes. To the Buri, this is a great honor. I was honored until I learned what becomes of the Chosen. Yeah, look at those mutations on him. Yep. I don't know if I should say they're horribly mutated because that might... Uh... I mean, look at his... The symbol on his face is glowing. Because the metal devices implanted in their faces happens to most of them. They have metal devices implanted on their faces? What? No. The Chosen Ones are slaughtered. I got lucky. I escaped. But now, the Buri shun me and the Veer hunt me. <laughs> but I found a better family than both. Ah, uh, so the Veer chose him to get sacrificed or to die. And the Buri always thought it was a great honor. But because he ran away, the Buri dislike him because he pretty much threw the, the honor of being chosen in their face. And then the Veer are just like, oh, no one can escape us. Oh. Why does the Undying King kill the Buri? I heard he grinds the bodies into a powder. That's how he lives forever. You didn't hear it from me, though. He can't know I know. Ooh. So... These irradiated beings? I don't know. Huh, that's interesting. What are the Veer? The king's servants. They obey without question. Nothing can turn them. Nothing. What can you tell me about the Undying King? Mm, a tyrant cares for nothing but himself. Don't trust him. You said you'd side with the pack to kill me. Why? <laughs> Would you not defend your own family? Uh, I guess so. You and I have no grudge between us. But I will if they do. Oh, I feel bad I didn't ask about the brewery earlier. Because now it looks like I can't ask him. Well... Ah, right. Did you want some dog food then? Let me see what you got. Dog he just sells jerky. Tastes better than it smells. Oh, I see. Increases crit damage. Interesting. For 60 minutes, that's an hour. Yep. Yeah, a lot of these buff items last for a long time. Thanks for the conversation. Keep quiet as you go. Oh, and don't come back. The pack might not be sleeping next time. Quiet now. So do we have to go around to the left? Uh... But, uh we don't go close to them. What the hell? Yeah, he's got, like, a stone stuck in his face. Wait, I think we need that. Quiet now. Wait, is that the stone that goes inside the golem? Yeah. Oh, I feel so bad for this guy, though. He escaped being slaughtered only to live amongst these dogs, and then... But what, what good will it be to revive that golem? But, 
like this is a this is a boss fight. I think we have to do this. I should have asked him about the Bori. I I probably can't go back and ask him about the Bori. We might be able to go around. That's what we're trying to do right now. I mean, we can always come back. Mm hmm. And they might not be sleeping that time. I think we're good. That was interesting. I'm really looking forward to what lore... Well, I mean, it's just the world building that they yeah. have for this. Because at first I thought the society was going to be uninteresting, but they have this caste system and these odd rituals and this tyrant. Then again, it seems like all of the worlds have a an empress or a queen or a undying king that's ruining everything. I mean, it kind of makes sense, mildly, to go to a uh, feudalistic government uh, if, like, you're fighting for survival. Just because it really does simplify things. I'm not saying it's a good idea, it just makes sense. Well, the interesting thing is, these people want us to kill their king. Or at least the people that are... Well, I think everyone here is battle-mad. So I think we're, we're actually in a new zone. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was an optional boss. Neat. There this might be a benefit to fighting them. Probably a trinket or a weapon. But... Well, obviously if we rejuvenate that golem, <clears throat> I'd, if it is in fact its power source... That might not be it. Oh. <clears throat> Galenic Charm. Ooh. Oh yeah, I haven't looked at my um potential necklaces. Oh wow, Cleansing Jewel is good. Increases self-healing effectiveness with all healing items by 25%. Dragon Hearts removes status effects? That's good. Damage you might like that. Damage by enemies awards 50% of the damage is a mod power? <gasps> I'm going to keep the Galenic Charm on, just because that lets me use my abilities more often. I'll do the cleansing. And stay down! I assume you, uh, you re redid your equipment, yeah? Um, some of them, but not you as can... much as I would like. I'm okay. I want to have the healing power on one. Okay. Uh, if you need and to change anything, now is the, the time. No, I'm fine. Okay. Because I, I don't want to rush you just because I, I am a very run-and-gun man right now. There, got that guy in one hit. And stay down! And that skull. Yeah, so far, as far as abilities go, I really recommend Hunter's Mark. And, oh, watch it, it's a big one. Oh, gosh. Ah. Well, I took his mask off. Be of company. A yeah, ton of it. I got the big guy. Uh, we have possibly another? Okay, got the skulls. Oh gosh. Oh, we got another big one. Watch well, good luck with that guy. I killed him. We did it. By the way, if you're liking this game, Shell, we should probably try Neo at some point. Because mm -hmm. I think you would actually like that game. Challenge aside, because it does similar things. It's, oh, uh, we got a Luminite crystal from him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's like a mid-boss or an elite enemy, so they almost always drop Luminites. Same thing with, like, uh, Shamans and Root Brutes. Get! So are these all Bori? Yeah. Remember the, uh... The one merchant that sold secrets was talking about it? It was the Bori and the... 
He was a Bori, but he was also a particular type of Bori. The Soul Bori and the whatever Bori. Well, what was that thing that you killed? It was like a weird cancer dog. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, even... Even Wood's dog seemed a little bit cancerous. It had a lot yeah, of Yeah, it had, like, scabs. open sores, but that was... that was it. Well, and its face had been bandaged. I think all dogs have that in this universe. Maybe their eyes rotted out. Watch out, though. There's a precipice. Hey, there must be some kind of hawk or falcon making that noise. Okay, let's go back for a second. It seems like there's a little side area over here. Okay. I'm not sure which was the right way to go. They probably are both Those the correct like way. Those look like burial mounds, perhaps. I don't know. But yeah, we didn't go off this way. And they might both be valid, or this might be a dead end. Always search for the dead ends if you can. Another big one. Oh, I see him. I'm gonna piss him off a little bit. Uh oh. Bunch of skulls. Spear thrower. That might have been tougher than regular spear thrower. I'm not sure. I'm really disliking the fact that I... I mean, it's... I know that snipers okay? are slow, but... You might do better with something that's not a sniper rifle. I wanted to use my regular rifle. Okay, go for it. Also, stand but still. I, I, I haven't upgraded it in a while. Though. Oh, well, next time we're near a checkpoint, we can go back. Because I feel that this is better for close quarters combat. Mm hmm. That's why I've been liking my uh, revolver so much, because it's a good, relatively long range weapon. It doesn't snipe. Necessarily, but if I see an enemy in the distance, I can pop them off pretty quick. Looks like this is a, a mini dungeon. Interesting. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, there is a glowing light. Yep. Uh, there's a checkpoint here, then. Let's, uh, let's go back. Because we might as well upgrade your, your stuff and my stuff. Mm -hmm. We've been managing so far without. I think it's because enemies actually scale slightly with your equipment. Or maybe it's your level two. I don't really know how they scale. But like, I haven't felt underpowered yet, which is a really good feeling. Mm -hmm. Like with a lot of these games, you'll play for, I mean, you remember, um, you remember in like Borderlands three, we'd like enter a new zone and suddenly everything was just killing us. Mm -hmm. And so this is. You mean is Borderlands been... 2. Yeah, did I say 3? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's out in less than a month, and I'm like, it's kind of on my mind because I'm trying to decide if I actually want to play it. Compared to something like this? Nah, I'm tired of fighting a bunch of. Uh, just crazy bandits on a. Yeah, I'll probably play it if other people are like, yeah. You know, we'd, we'd like to play Borderlands. The new tower appeared in the city. Now look at this. Just These look human. Like it's always been there. Oh, wait. We're, of course, we're, we're back me, at the human base. Yeah. Clear. Never know what those weeds are up to. Certainly. Oh, uh, hey. Wallace. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Have we seriously not picked up any more forged I iron? See you later. Huh. We've barely picked up any. Really picked up what? Any forged iron. Yeah. We'll upgrade Might some. be able to buy some. Uh, let's see. I'm not in the mood for chat. So long. Magic tower? Yeah, right. Either you and Ace are nutty, or things are worse out there than I thought. <sighs> All right then. Oh, she is nothing. We're done here. We probably bring back a special thing from each world for her. So, by the way, Ace, I believe, the woman with the gas mask and the hood, mm -hmm. um, 
You she sells pop up upgrade the the items. Too, yeah. I thought I'd finally lost okay. it. I'd be afraid to step a toe in there. Who knows when it'll take off again? No, she's just selling iron. Weird. Take care then. Ho there. I was really how much expecting... can you upgrade a weapon? Uh, how much? Yeah. Uh, try and get everything up to plus five if you can. Only go past that if it's something you really, really like. Because so far, forged iron has seemed almost impossible to find. I wonder if it's actually because they're scaling off of you. And since you aren't using Forged Iron yet, not much is dropping. I don't really know. Wait, the Twisted Mask is at plus five? Can I go further than that? Yeah, you can go up to plus six, plus ten, maybe even to plus twenty. I'm not sure. Oh. My, my mask is currently plus eight. Because my Hunter Trench Coat is all the way up as much as it can be. What's your trench coat up to? Only five. Plus yeah. Five. It's because we need forged iron to drop to get the rest. So long. So now I got the mask up a little bit. Oh, you want to pop it on? Or do you mean your current mask? No, 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 no. The, the twisted mask. Except it's worse on everything else. Except for the rot. I mean, elemental resistances don't matter that much. Mm-hmm. And the small amount of health regen will help. So did you get your hunter hunting rifle up? Yeah, a bit. Let's see. Yeah. Fine. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Good. I mean it does substantially now less go. damage, but But I can eek more shots in probably. Yeah, that's the point. Because like my shotgun does tons of damage, but it shoots real slow. And what should I put on it? I can do explosive shot. Ooh, I mean, that's cool. Hot shot, which is more fire. I wouldn't recommend hot shot. Explosive Mental shot thorns. isn't as good as you'd think, because it does about the same amount of damage. Should I do the healing aura again? Uh, Probably. yeah. I, I, just, I just never use it, or I don't have the beans to, but that's all right. Well, if you want to try explosive shot instead, um, because I, I like healing aura, <laughs> but I can use it more often. Explosive <laughs> shot might fit you better. Let's see, I got a bow my nose. This mask looks so weird. I like it though. It it fits with the game. Ready whenever you are. Okay. Don't want to talk to Ellen? Uh, At sure. all about the fact that we've gone to another world, read her father's journals? Yeah, might as well go see if she has anything relevant to say. Don't talk to her yet. There mm -hmm. are boxes. Also, were we going to go to the basement to read any more lore? Nah, uh, not really. Let's leave that for a bit. Okay. I mean, we can technically do it whenever. It's just I really want to see this Undying King's tomb. So that labyrinth does exist. My grandfather ranted about a moving tower in the city. A door to more doors, he said. I honestly never thought it was real. Maybe he is still out there. Can't imagine things look great out there. Okay, that's pretty much it. I wouldn't mind talking to some of the other characters about it. Uh, everybody is just like, tower. Ah. Huh. And that's it. It's really not that much. Well, that's unfortunate. There's an NPC that sells forged iron. Yeah, but she hasn't restocked in, like, several hours. <laughs> you found the great disappearing tower. Oh, what an adventure. How many mysteries it must hold. What would you like to know? Oh, we can ask him what his story is. Sure. Oh, hey, uh, 
<laughs> Not much to tell about old Reggie. My story is like so many out there. Loss, hunger, fear. And by providence, I found my way here. To the last bastion of kindness and light. Searching my life. Before this place is like reaching through an endless fog. I do remember a ring I wore once. Oh, we already heard that. But it's lost now to anything. Now, Take care, I'm a little bit concerned. His name is Reggie. Didn't we read notes about a Reginald or a Reg that died? Yeah. Uh, can you try talking to Ace and see if... Hello, uh, friend. go into your inventory and check quest items. See if you have anything interesting there. I can buy iron? Cause I got a, I got a coin. No. Uh, hmm. I mean, remember you've played. Take care then. No, I, I got a coin from the first boss. Oh, well, I didn't. Friend. Or at least I haven't been able to use it. I don't, I don't have it in my inventory. Okay. Uh, did you check check inventory and quest items? Is there anything else there? Probably not. I guess I would have them. I only have the key card, the master key, and the glowing rod. Weird. Because, yeah, I found that coin off of the first boss, but I guess not. Well, oh well. Oh, uh, d talk to the root mother. Mm-hmm. Well met, traveler. You have seen the skein of worlds. You have walked the labyrinth. I found the keeper, just as you said. And you pursue the road, yes? Walk the world's wanderer. The founder lies beyond. He waits, but he does not know he waits. Ask. Very well. Tread carefully, child. So he waits beyond. Probably when we go to the other two worlds, we'll get the means to get to the third one? Yep. Probably. Well, let's see if we can finish this one off. And then go to bed. Pika's tired. Wait, finish off this world? I... I don't know. I don't even know how much is left. Because, like... Do you do world settings? Uh, return to the last checkpoint. No, oh, world yeah. settings actually lets you reset the entire world. Oh, no. Um... Let's see. Forge, galvanize, and harden iron all locked to progression. Which is weird because they started dropping for me around the humans and then stopped. Oh, it's, uh, we've got the weird mechanized dudes again. Did not. Watch it, there's another one. Be careful, they leave an. Radiated aura around them. Yeah, did you? Oh, you already killed the guy in the. No? Nope. There's still another dude. Oh, okay. I got him. Alright. I just thought you'd been fighting him because uh, you just Keep were like going grabbing straight. The, uh, yellow oh, there's stuff. the forged iron. Okay, so maybe I'll start dropping now. Yep, there's some over there. Oh, there's tons. Yes! Maybe these guys are the forged iron, essentially. Yeah, it might almost just drop from certain enemy types. I really like these orbs. I don't know what they are. Oh, the, like, weird gestation-looking sphere things? Cover me! <clears throat> this ain't good. Coming up. Oh, great. Careful. Yeah, I know. I, I want to get through them so badly. I recommend rolling. Oh, gosh. I need to help with that. radiation. And also healing. I'm going to heal. Holy yeah. hell. I tried not to use my dragon hearts, but this is a situation for it. There also is one of those weird butt monsters down below. 
This oh, one? it's coming up the stairs. Reloading. Shoot it in the behind? Yep. It looks like it's focused Watch on me's. So get in the booty if you can. Okay. So far, so good. Sort of. I've got my. I'm kind of liking my hunting rifle even less than my sniper. Because less punch? Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, the reload rate is. It, it's just as often. Who's next? Well, not really. No! Because the the sniper, I think I have to reload after every shot, whereas. This, I feel like I, I only have two or three shots before well, I. Well, you can check. Uh, reload to full and see how much ammo you have. Bottom right. My bottom right? Bottom right above your health bar is how many bullets are currently in your gun. Two. Yeah, so you get two shots. Uh, try reloading. With what button? R. Oh, I see. What's it at now? Oh. Nine. Okay, that's that's not so bad. 